Rogue Tech Treadnought. Welcome back to Rogue Tech. Let's do Blown Operation. It's going to be an escort mission. It's three skulls. I'm dropping full four. Everybody's going. Uh, I took this one over a two and a half, which is roughly the same, which was a battle. Primarily because, you know, a little bit of an upscale and weight would be good. I am taking two of eight. It's one down from max pay. That way I can pick if there's something. And in this particular case, I'm hoping that there might be maybe, you know, I'm, I'm trying to account for the possibility of a heavy Mac or something else being nice down here. Restricted Torian area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't the response for us. You'll find our employer's people here at the facility. Try not to get the, any of them shot or stepped on. Good luck. Okay. So you were suggesting I come here, which means I have to come all the way around here, go up here, come back around here, go all the way over and about. Really? Seriously? Can I go over here? 386? I can go here. So where's the where's the, 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 the lances? All right. So this whole area, there, there's no surprise greeting here. No? Wow. That's, that'd be... If I let that drop happen... That would just be such a long slog all the way around to here because, you know, my uh, my carriers can't do much. But as far as uh, going over stuff, but uh, yeah, they'd probably get to about here and stop because I'm going to go here, grab these guys, and they're going to come back down this way. Um, where are these guys? Uh, 390? Is it? Nope. They're in here. They're in here waiting. Okay. So they're just in there waiting for us. That's fine. Wait, what? No, that feels like there's somebody right in here. No? No, it's it, they're all in here. Okay. I got like a guy there and uh, like a guy over here. and a, Yeah, they're all right around in here. So I'm going to drop in here. There. There we go. Let's shortcut this. Drink some of my Earl Grey tea from Stash. Hashtag not sponsored. Sucks. All right. <laughs> Let's get the fight. Let's get the fight. You betcha. Let's go ahead and get the fight. Uh, get those things on overload. I generally like doing overload personally. There, there's a couple of things. Let's talk AMS for a second. <laughs> So if you look at the AMS here, it, it's going to fire at incoming missiles that range once every 10 meters. Uh, and, it's, and its range will be, I don't know where, don't see where this range is, but yeah, every every 10 meters it's took a fire. Um, I think the hexes are 30 meters long, so it's basically at least three shots, 30, 20, and 10. You don't get a shot at zero. Fires at one missile volley per round. So you're going to take a shot at every missile that comes in. If I hit, I'll do a point of damage. So I'm basically going to have to hit something two to four to five times, depending on how much damage the missiles have. Um, I think the Narc Gloucester has a missile, right, that I can look at? No. Yeah, I can't look at the, the, the one there. But it's going to do, oh, I think I was looking at the regular AMS. So it has a 50% chance to hit each time. So what? It's a twenty-five percent chance to hit something for two, or maybe a little bit, a little bit better than that. But I have to hit twice out of three shots. Uh, no heat per activation in this mode. However, if I overload it, I can fire multiple times per round, so I can dump a lot of stuff. It can fire up to thirty shots per activation. So in the other case, uh, it, it will be limited to twenty shots per activation. So an LRM twenty, I could try to counter. Here I could try to counter two LRM-15s. It does generate heat per activation, and the AMS has a 45% chance to jam per activation. So it, it, it has a chance to, you know, you shoot things down the first round, but you're not going to get them down the second round. But you can see its range is 90, range, 90 AMS range. So that means I'm not only shooting more, but I'm going to be shooting further out. That means I get nine shots at stuff as they come in. Keep in mind, most things do have a direct fire mode, like this one says five shots per uh, per activation for machine gun. So I could use it as a machine gun instead. Uh, and, and when I'm firing as a machine gun, it's a 15% chance to, to have some fun. So primarily I'm going in overload, not because I want to do a sustained intercept, which if I knew that I was just going to be dealing with some LRMs coming in, it might be a better idea. But overload also only, I mean, the regular mode only allows you to, to intercept missiles shot at you. 
So the Javelin can only intercept missiles shot at the Javelin. In Overload, he can shoot intercept missiles all around him. I believe that does... Does that say that in here? I'm not sure it does tell you that. But I believe that is the case. So then on the laser, for example, I can shoot this. Once again, same, same idea. Uh, two damage per missile. So it does a little bit more damage. So I have a chance to just shoot down a missile. Period. So the laser AMS is a little bit better for that from, than this, the AMS, the regular AMS. The only difference is uh, how many times he can shoot. So he can only shoot 10 times, not 20. So I get half the shots with double the damage. So it's, it's roughly the same as an AMS with the advantage being that he doesn't run out of ammunition. So it's really great for endurance runs like the uh, attack defend. Uh, it's really good for those types. Or if you're going to go into like a really long battle, uh, great. I, I prefer the AMS over the ammo for that reason. It does generate a lot of heat. It's 18 heat per activation instead of 6. So in this particular case, you're going to pay for whatever you're going to do in heat. It has the same jam chance and overload that the other unit does. Uh, actually, let's double check that. It's 18 in heat and this is 2. So it's 0 and 2 here. It's 6 and 18 here, uh, but this goes out to 90, uh, 90 range, and uh, you can fire it as a medium laser. So you can do 25 points of damage if you just shoot it up as a laser. That's pretty good, uh, in, in, in my humble opinion. <laughs> so let's uh, let's keep moving. I think that was everybody, right? Ready for order. Yeah, let's reserve. You can put on your flare. This is a bolt-on, same thing with AMS. Um, it's gonna do four damages to, to missiles, so it will shoot down if it hits most things. And it has an 80% chance to hit, but it can only shoot 10 times. And it is a bolt-on, which means it has limited firing capabilities. Uh, it has five so total salvos. You can see that near the bottom of that, that box. So this is really quite effective at shooting down missiles. Uh, again, I, I like to keep my stuff either on overload or have these up because of rocket attacks typically if you have a rocket carrier missile carrier type or like an irby with a rocket lo load on it um, they can wreck you pretty damn fast and it really helps to be able to put out a single turn's worth of concerted effort in anti-missiles so there we go we got that on who else anybody else nope let's reserve again Got a cicada and a timber wolf. Watch the flank. Watch the flank. Okay. Who's up next? Morning. Centurion, get his laser. You see his over and overload as well. Let's take a quick peek. He can small fire as a small laser. That's interesting that the upgraded version of the laser anti missile system here is a small laser rather than a medium laser. Hmm. Still, uh, two damage per missile, same as the other one. 35% chance to shot intercept. Actually, I think that's worse. I think the other one was 45. But it does 15 shots per round, so I get an extra five for that 10% reduction. Yeah, that's worth it. Um, eight heat, and then if we go up, it gets 22 heat. Oof. So I could pretty quickly try to uh, accidentally overload myself on heat, not paying attention to this. Uh, in overload, it's going to do four points of damage, and it can fire 20 shots per activation. And it, we can like, again, it could shoot every 10 meters. Uh, you, you, this, this has the potential to heat up pretty damn fast. Um, I do like the very bottom though; it'll give you the the basic oh, jam chance. Here's zero. Here it is by point. Oh, but it's about six percent. Uh, your jam chance is affected by piloting skill, I believe it is. All right. Reporting. Let's keep going. Standing by. So it was a little bit of anti-missile system discussion. I feel like in this particular game, uh, there's, what, a third of the weapon types is missile. So having an anti-missile system on your, your, your units really does give you a lot of reduction and in potential incoming damage. And this gets into a conversation I've had before about the nature of the campaign in in Battletech and the same as for Rogue Tech, which is 
uh, you <laughs> you are dealing with some serious issues here. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, if you take out a laser on the enemy unit, it doesn't matter, except for that particular engagement. After the fact, he's never coming back. So he's a throwaway unit for the game. For me, if I lose a laser, it matters because I want to use that laser in every in every game or every uh, attack I have, every mission going forward. And so, if I lose that laser, like I did the uh, the one ton of ammo on the Goss stuff for the, the Centurion, which really caused me a lot of pain, uh, it, it matters. So, because of that, the best offensive position that the AI has is to create. A lot of glass cannons uh, that way they can do some damage and if they do any damage at all it makes a difference long term and they don't care I mean they blow up all their back big deal it doesn't hurt them on the defensive side however your best tactical decision is to be very defensive get max armor get AMS get the blue shield you keep your evasion high because any damage you take is important so you really need to be careful about that don't build glass cannons because you will end up losing your glass cannon. So anyway, here, I get off my damn soapbox. Put that away. Put 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 it down. Put it away. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we're pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and reserve. Take advantage of this a little bit longer. I, did I see a no? All right. We'll go ahead and move. Especially I think. Well, yeah. Let's move the light carrier up. Huh? Move him here. I don't think he has a direct line of sight anywhere, does he? No. No, he doesn't. All right, right there. Moving out. Uh, I'm going to go HE. Because these guys are sitting right next to one another. And I'm going to hit you. Did you take any damage? He didn't. If he did, he would have taken it from the direction of impact to the, uh, the facing side of the unit. Seapult. Yep, I'll move up and out of this here, facing over that way. I'm going to go ahead and throw down some thunder ammo. One round. Attack the ground. And put it right in here. Put it around top of this guy. Now, this is friend or fi uh, IFF mines. I, I really like the IFF mines. They, they feel pretty damn good to me. Okay, we'll move forward. Sprint forward. Throttle full. Look at it. Sure, we're going to go ahead and sensor lock this guy up front. Really? What is it with the sensor locking? Why is it that sometimes I can and sometimes I can't? I don't get it. I feel like those are both well within sensor range. Is there a bug going on here? Possibly. Yes, what, UPS show up? USPS has showed up. Dogs are trying to protect me from the, the evil man who's delivering packages. All right, so the hunchback still has his gauss, but he has a very restricted amount of ammo. So I got to keep that in mind. We'll turn these things on. I will come around the corner. Pink. Is it just the two of you? Really? Okay. Um, let's see. So I have six total rounds to shoot. You're pretty good with the Gauss. So I'm going to go ahead and get you with the Gauss. I'm going to go ahead and do the, uh, the Warlord on you as well. Um, I have three shots to allocate to this batch, guys. And then I'll have three shots to allocate to the other batch of guys. Excuse me? Wow. All right. Uh, I'm not sure I really want to complain about that, but damn. Do I care about heat? No. Uh, let's see. I have four-ish rounds. I'll put one. No, no, not good enough. No, no, no. And in fact, that, that's not even worth it either. Skip the turn. Orders? Yeah, I got orders. You got orders? Here, we got a direct line. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot him. I like all of that. Yeah. 
a new... I got three rounds. I'm going to go ahead and do the Phantom on the one guy. Generally, I wouldn't, but I think that's yeah. about all I have to deal with. Yeah, it's 50%. That's all I have to deal with until I trigger these guys. Awaiting orders. Which means it's kind of rough, man. I am not going to shoot my air, my uh, my heavy missiles. I'm just going to give them a snub and an, an arrow four. I think it might be worth more. Well, I got turn. I got many turns. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Well, go. Well, you got two barrages to deal with. No joy. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's all good. Uh, can I get to a spot where I can actually touch him with a? I want to touch you, boy. Can I touch you? No. He does not give consent for me to touch him. Damn it. Nice. There is blue. This is blue damage. Oh, there's damage on this thing over here. Okay. Um, he goes in 22. I got some 24s there. 24, yep, 26, 22, 24, 22. So I have three units that are going to move. He's going to move without you. have two more units going to move right after that. I'm going to go ahead and step forward a bit. Face him. I'm going to hit him with chaff again. Let's go. Nope. He shot my chaff down with anti-missile systems. A regular catapult or do I sprint? I do a regular walk in the open because I get a bonus because I don't want to have to shoot through trees. It doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm done with the uh, those. I'm going to go ahead and do some artillery. Art, art, Artemis. It's nice. Reporting. In and around the corner. Peek -a uh Can I sensor lock you now? Sure. Let's do a sensor lock on you now. Weapons locked. Focus fire. Okay, he's not feeling good. Where are you going to go? Actually, it looks like you have to jump. Or did the artillery clear? Oh, I think the artillery cleared my mines. That's unfortunate, but also reasonably logical. Yes, Commander. Screamer. I'm going to just walk down here. Do another snub nose on him. Nice, got sensors impaired. How are you feeling over here, buddy? He's been sensor locked. Uh, he takes less energy damage because he does have reflective coating, so direct ballistics are better. He has a probe sensor of one on him already. Reinforced structure. Crit reduction. Okay. Getting a little bit unsettled. He's got impaired sensors. Okay. I feel like everything's going all right there. Um, I'm going to come up high. Here. Higher. Get some uh, height advantage. Then I'm going to see if we can double tag and narc him. Uh, I'll go ahead and fan him mech. Just in case he decides to shoot at him. Tagged. Okay, he gets to go first because I've been going first. It's basically a round robin on moves. So he gets to go, you know, after I've moved, if he gets the opportunity, he's allowed to move first in any kind of thing like this. He got ace. He ran over 14 of those. Um, I think I can get in. Yeah, I can. I can get in here and get a shot of the Templar. Hey, you. Caseless? Sure. It's likely to, to jam, but I'm fine with the jamming because of the... Uh, in fact, it's going to unjam. In fact, here, if we look down the bottom, I have a 16% chance to jam. But the AC-10s are going to go right through his armor, his, his, uh, his, the armor that he's got. Like, like you know, easy stuff there. Not a problem. Now, I had three allocations of shots here. It looks like I'm going to be able to get all of them in on him. Uh, if I go closer, nope, it's the same. If I get back further... Eh, well, it's 27, 21, 29. 27, 27, 29. So it's a little bit better if I'm closer. And we'll come in from the side, which will give me a better a bonus to hit. 
Uh, if you're ever curious about your bonus to hit, go over here and highlight your hit percentage. Uh, well, it'll give you what your, your gunnery level is. I'm, I'm gunnery level 9, so I have an 89% chance to hit. Minus 1s are good. Pluses are negative. So I have plus. I have a, a bonus of 1 for my arm mount, 1 for weapon accuracy, 1 for a side attack, 1 because he's tagged. So I've got a bonus of 4. Review. I have his, He moves a bunch, so he has 6. That's basically evasion. So now I'm only, I have a difficulty of plus two. I moved, gives me plus three. I sprinted, gives me plus four. And the enemy has some defensive effects, ECM basically, of four. So I have a shot modifier of plus nine down there at the bottom. Uh, that's what's affecting my chances to hit. And he's out. Damn. I like the Gauss. It's a shame I lost a ton of ammo for that thing. All right, the light carrier is gonna step back face that way. Copy that. Defend. Because when I trigger these guys, they're likely to be over here. And I want to stay out of the direct line of sight. Uh, it looks like a three to get down. Yeah, three here. Okay, Templar, you're a little slow. I'll put you up here. Not too far. The Centurion... I'm going to use the uh, the flyer. Moving. I'm, I'm setting up here just in case, but, you know, I, I should be careful. I'm going to throw the AWACS almost all the way in here. He can't be affected by ground stuff, so he'll be affected by this this stuff. I'm in the capture zone, but I'm not sure he counts for capture. So we will sprint him in in case he doesn't count for capture. I'm going to face this way just in case something untoward happens to me. He did not run through the... Uh, the fungus, which is a good thing. You're going to defend, and you're going to defend, and you're going to defend. Keeping my heat. Shit, we're glad to see you folks. Gunshots. I was worried I'd have to walk home. Hello. The LZ has been marked for me. Keep there. Everyone who's left, we're mounting up now. Let's move, people. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so... Uh, I see an inspired down there, which means there's a guy. What the hell? There's a guy down there. Interesting. I got a flyer. Another flyer. Another flyer. Wow, the Sams are going to be useful today. And I got something. Looks like it's over here. All right. Yeah. Who's up first? The AWACS is up first. I'm going to move forward. To get some protection for my guys. Get a little bit of evasion going on. No shooting, just run it. And then I'm going to do a ground assault, I think. In preparation for what's coming. I want to anticipate where they're going to be. So I'm going to go like right here. We'll see if this crab gets in there to play with me. All right, the rest of this, I don't think I'm going to have much of a chance to shoot something. If I come here, what's my chance to hit him? Not not horrible. Right now they got they got a ton of evasion. I have no evasion whatsoever, do I? And I'm kind of not facing the right way. So I'm going to go ahead and do the move. Oh, let's take a look. Yeah, target move plus 10. That basically is him just sitting still. But it says, I dropped here, getting my max evasion. And this guy's going to have the same thing, right? Yeah, plus 10. Still, I'm not having a bad time to shoot these things. I want the Nidhogg, if I can get him. Acknowledged. I got him tagged. It's plus one. You are not going to be able to do anything. You are not the guy who needs to do stuff. And you are not the guy who's going to do stuff. Yeah. What can I do you for? So we're going to reserve. Got it. Stay in put now. Here comes the rockets. This is why I have AMS.
Come on. Who'd you shoot at? Really? Oh, yeah, you shot at one of these guys back here. Nice. They went through the cone of AMS a few times, so a lot of those didn't actually connect. But if we look at him now, we'll see that he actually shot off. No, he didn't shoot off his rocket packs. Ooh, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake, buddy. I can get a side shot from here. But I'm in the woods. Or I can get a clean shot from here. I want every bonus I can... Well, it's, it's kind of counter e either way. So I think what I'll do is... Yeah, I, I have to be in the woods if I'm going to get that side shot. It's fine. I will step forward, though, here. Let's go, Sam. Let's go... Warlord. Yeah, look at those numbers. Yeah, baby. Hit him hard. He's got a lot of DPS on him. He needs to, needs to go away. All right, now we got the AC2. That's the warrior. Where are you going to go? I do have the uh, move turned up to max. Um, the AI, the AI is going through a lot of computations to figure out, you know, all the places to move and what it wants to do. And assuming the AI makes smart moves, I don't mind a little bit of a delay between moves while it figures itself out. But uh, I do mind it when he does stupid moves, <laughs> and he takes that long to figure it out. All right, he's an ace. So where are you going to go? You general and the aces always take a long time because they're effectively doing, I think, twice. That's my assumption. It's the way it feels, but it feels like they're going through, you know, shoot first. You know, actually, move first, then shoot. What does it look like? And then shoot, then move. And what does it look like? So it's doing two different engagements of the AI. It's, it's just the way it feels. Um, let's jump. I really don't have anybody to dump a bunch of my, uh, my, my missiles on here. So I'm going to be dump, dumping them down here. On this guy who's already walked into the minefield. What's that look like? Too much heat? Too much heat. And the snub nose isn't there, so I'm just gonna do. Hit him a bit, but didn't hit him enough. The light carrier. I have the choice behind between high explosive and just regular shots. I'm just gonna turn to face him. And the Nidhog. Nice numbers. Nice hits. Okay, Templar, you're moving forward normal. You're gonna be hitting the Nidhog as well. Toast. Nice. Now I don't have to worry about some 30 odd rockets coming at me. Uh, let's see. Both those guys have moved already. This guy? I think this guy. Nope, let's move over further. Yeah, we're going to shoot him. Moving. Focus fire. Nice. Troubling. Ready for orders. I don't know why that's troubling. It looks good to me. All right, you're going to come up here to where you're going to get a shot on the, uh, the crab. I could shoot him, but I like the crab better. He even have better numbers, except for the gauss. Gauss is actually built for shooting down the thing up in the air. But, it's alright. Grab. What can I do for you? He's got a ton of MR, a ton of damage. Um, you got a grenade launcher and a thunderbolt missile. So we'll do this. What give you a full move up. You hit him. Actually, can I sensor lock him? You can. And then we'll shoot. Time to die. Next, medium lasers LRM. Can I can I move all the way up? Moving yes, down. it'll let me move all the way up. Excellent. Uh, same guy. Yeah. What what's the chance up there? 
And I'm assuming you don't have any... You you do have a hot load. Yeah, no. We don't have any other ammo, so we'll just shoot you in the... Well, let's see. Sensor lock. I've got a sensor lock. Yep, thank you. Grab. Uh -huh. A little bit of a touch there, that's fine. Three. Can I get all the way up here? I bet you I can... Wow, look at this guy. Book. I bet you... Yep, it's going to complain. <laughs> here. Still complaining. Here. All right. That's as far as it's going to let me go. And I can do another sensor lock, but I don't think I have anybody else to sensor lock, right? Destroy all co convoys. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Commander. Okay, my carrier. I would like a direct shot. Let's so move up to here. I think you have... Yeah, you have just... Well, you do have Sam. Say hello to my little friend. Uh, here. Down. Make it short work of these guys. I have the right set. Uh, no, it's an, an anti-mech pod. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Uh, three. Got it. MML, do you get the shoots? Yes, let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Tell me what to shoot. And he walked into my... I, I, I placed that pretty well, huh? Are you impressed? I am. Um, here. Mark him up. Let's go ahead and do a uh, phantom. Just in case he, he lives through all this. But he's going to get tagged. He definitely got tagged. How many tags does that give me? I'm wondering, because uh, I know I have two on there. It's not that I get a bonus, I don't think. Tag acquired. Plus two. Yes, it's locked. Reporting. All right. Um, so I have to do a three move, eh? All right. We'll go right here. Throttle full. Look at it. And we're going to smack it. Just a stunner. Nice. Got some, uh, his, oh, his NSS is down, so he's going to be easier to hit. I think I knocked him over. Oh, he's lost the evasion. All right. So I'm going to come over here to the side as far as I can get. I'm going to go ahead and mark him up again. Uh, we'll go chaff this time. Uh, yeah. And now that he took any damage at all because he was maxed out, he'll get knocked down. Knockdown works, you know, off your stability. If you get all the way to the max side, it does a, a check to see if you're knocked down. However, if it, you took all of that stability in one round, in one shot, he won't go down. You have to be hit twice to go down. So in case you've ever seen that happen, you're like, my God, look, he's, he's loaded up to the, to the gills and he's not going over. That's why. All right, Senator, so... Really? I only have three shots left? Turn that off. Commander. Because I know I'm gonna have another another deal here. Here. Sure we'll go for the shoulder. I might as well tag him as well. On nice. Target's taking a critical hit. Yeah, he has. Commander. Catapult. Direct shot. Yep. Back here. Onward. Um, I got a lot of ammo there. Let's go ahead and just shoot him with it. Toast. Objective complete. Now, I'm supposed to get all the other guys there, and the reason why it won't end is because once I get them there, it's going to say, oops, sorry. We got another, another lance to deal with. But I'm just going to kind of cruise on down a little bit. Awaiting orders. I'll just move up a little bit. Good to go. Uh, you got yep, yep. Move all the way up. Moving out. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, you do a full three move. All excited about that move. My carrier. I'm gonna reserve my carrier. You get to move. I want to make sure I still have people close enough to, to uh, handle these guys. Move. 
Got a 14 with my carrier. I'm going to go ahead and reserve. Good to go. All right. You three up here as well. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Yep. And then you. All right. We are good. Um, I'd like to get myself into position. I'm going to come over this way. I'm going to be up along this wall. That way I can catch things from either side if I'm like right up here. Reporting. You're going down the center. Moving. You are going to go through the woods to grandmother's house you go. Hey, wax go a little short. Standing by. Screamer is going to do a regular move. I think you should be over here as well. And then the javelin is going to have to. No, I got my carriers over there. It'll be fine. There. Moving out. Along the wall. Waiting for orders. I hear you. All right, you. All the way up front. On my way. Location confirmed. Move order received. Confirmed. You betcha. I keep thinking I'm, I'm moving these the, the other guys here, but I'm actually moving my own. That's hilarious. All right, Templar, big three move down there. Move order received. Kitty Pult, the Kitty Pult uh, is going to go here. I'm your spaniel. Next turn, I want to see if I can jump up or not. There's good. The here, moving. A wax cover. Screamer, right there. Javelin up there. Heading up. You're good. You're good. So this is my carrier. I think I'll move. I should, I should move here. My light carrier can also move further up, and I think I will. I'll move them all the way to here. He's not going to trigger that. Only these guys trigger it. And I'm going to go just shy from triggering. Templar. Here. Catapults. Up there. Hunchback is in a pretty good spot. I'm going to stick him uh, right here. In the... He should be able to react anywhere I want him to go from there. Screamer is fine where it's at. The AWAC should be right here. Centurion can be right underneath the AWACs pretty much. Javelin is in a good spot. I'll put him right here on the nose to move up and mark whatever needs to be marked. Carrier. Again, up here. I wouldn't mind a little bit of elevation. But I don't want to be somewhere where I can't get out and shoot this way if they come from there. Alright. So, did somebody get left behind here? No, all four of you are right here. One, two, three. Waiting for order. Oh, you're already up there. Yeah, yeah. A couple Waiting of you did get left behind. Order. All right. Uh huh. What can I do? Waiting for order. Here. Got it. And then brace. Waiting for order. Yes, commander. Not him. Order. Not him. Not him. Him. You can get in there. You got the medium lasers, the LRMs. So if I get you here, facing like that, trigger. Hey boss, I'm seeing more contacts. Whatever these guys stole must be important. Wow, did they just... Oh, it felt like they landed right on top of me. Pretty close. But there's only two of them. I got a syphilis. Syphilis. Oh no, I don't want to catch that. Griffin. All right. Now, he can shoot if he wants to. He cannot. Because it is the first turn. So, let's do a jump short jump 
here into the open. The Templar will move. I'm going to kind of get in his face. Catapult could shoot Thunder, I think. Right? Right. Another guy just went hidden on me here. Isn't that nice? Enjoy a minefield. I'm out of LRM. Reporting. So, what happened there? You're not allowed to shoot like this when they just pop in. This is all just movement. Uh, however, you can shoot the ground. They're just immune to being shot at. You're wondering what the hell that was all about. Alright, Centurion, I want you to come pop around the corner, so we'll do this. Uh, you should, I'm not going to put you over in this potential place to get hammered. I think I'm going to move you big over here into the, is that woods? No, that is not woods. Here in the woods? There woods. Give you some evasion and also get you some, uh, some cover. You can do bombs as well. I could probably hit the ground over here. So I will move forward a little bit, like right here. Damn, I should have just taken the shot. All right. Uh, you do have incendiary. You're already in your spot. You can't shoot the... You no, know, you can shoot the ground. Yes, please. Right here. Shoot ground. Let's see if we can start some fires, too. Yep, got some fire down. Nice. So, yeah, I don't, don't think you can't do nothing. <laughs> hide behind this you have he what is interesting is i think i can hit he and still do damage to you i wonder let's test this ground attack no it's like no nah, I, I i i'm on to you i'm not gonna let you do that yeah okay that's fine you 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 do you uh then you're done hello now this is why you don't walk into that red zone because you did boom 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 you're dead I've actually done that once, way back when. It was a little dismaying. Oh, there's three guys back there, is there? Let's see, what do I got? There's there's, there's more? There's probably four, right? I got a raptor. A, all these guys have got a lot, of, uh, a lot of hiding going on on them. You can't see me. Wrong. Wrong. I can see you just fine. And in fact... Uh, let's see, Raptor, the more he moves, well, he's got a taser too, but this is the guy I think I really want to get, so let's mark him up. Yep, got him tagged. I hit him in the head with a tag. <laughs> Some asshole out there with a light pen hit me in the eyes. That's what he's saying right now. <laughs> All right, Cephalopod, all heat. First turn shouldn't be a big deal. Okay. He ran away. He got scared. You're a scaredy cat. What's my chances to hit? Yeah, you've got all that defensive stuff going on right now. <sighs> do I really want to try? If I don't move at all, I'll just do a shot from here. It's 24... I have a 32. I feel like I should defend a little bit. Let's let's go ahead and uh, not do this yet. We're going to go ahead and reserve. I want to see if I can get some more tags and things on this guy. Uh, well, ain't that unfortunate. You're blocking my line of fire, you bum. All right, so if we go here... Yeah, I also have that problem with not being able to shoot something. You do too. You? You have enough bonuses. You might be able to make a difference. Got a couple of raptors in there, eh? I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. Let's move here. Let's do Warlord. Those are still on. Thirty 
32s. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and give this guy a poke. How'd that feel? All right. Um, reporting. I can sensor lock him. Sensor lock. Yeah, drop his evasion by one point. You betcha. You betcha. Uh, I could shoot through my own guy, so... There. Moving. Not in laser mode. Overload mode. Thank you. We'll think about that. Got some reduction on that. I'm your spaniel. Standing Do by. any of my other guys move yet? No, not yet. The AWACS could come up. And in fact, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting my AWAX out there. He hasn't taken any shots. He should have some evasion stuff going on. I can throw down some bombs and get my, my stuff going on. Let's 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 go play with this guy. Roger. Excellent. He's tagged up some more. I live to serve. He's, I'm going to wait. He's going to do the big old finale. Roger that. Standing by. Okay. Raptor? You're on fire. You're on mines. You're on bombs. <laughs> what you going to do? I'm actually, let's just bring him up. Oh. Oh, yes. Lots of, lots of leg damage. I like it. Yes, Commander. Screamer? One guy has moved already. So I move here. The regular move. Target him. Six. Twenty-seven. Sure. Uh, does Warlord affect... It does. I want to do this because I don't want to take out all the mines down there with my my uh, bombardment. Out of LRM. How is he feeling? I can't tell. Yeah, you're not going to show it to me because I don't have somebody who can see you. Mech is on fire, ran over landmines. Yep, yep, yep. So they're they're all like, oh my god. Commander. <laughs> First turn getting messed up. I don't blame you. I'm ready. The catapult has a shot over here now if I want it. Ooh, and the cephalus. I'm gonna take that shot. Now, here's another thing. Because I'm basically firing through a guy, if I miss, I'll get a chance to hit him, too. Let's see how that works. Nice. Nice. The Cobra strikes. No evasion for you, yes, sir. Command. Okay, so I have Templar. I've got a light carrier over here that can pull out probably. Ooh, I got a direct line right through here. Thank you. Let's go standard. Let's shoot this guy with 38. Oh, got his plasma ammo. That must not have felt well. Good. Uh, did you? No, you did not fall down. All right. Sounded like you might have fallen over. Prowler. Can I go all the way? I think I can go all the way through without triggering. But if I go here, then I'm locked in space. That's fine. Let's go here. Yeah, we'll shoot you. In fact, let's do a sensor lock. If I do another sensor lock on this guy, can I continue to knock him down in his evasions? I can. Ooh, nice. And one down. Who goes up next? I'm going to reserve you. Sleepinar. 
Sleepy. Sleepy Nar. Can I get a direct... I can get a shot up here if I move him forward aggressively, but I can't. Too much. You say that's too far. Can't go there. Can't go there either. Damn it. All right, so I guess we're coming back here. I could go outside here. Let's do this. Let's go over here on the outside. I'm going to use my sensor lock on this guy again. Yep. <laughs> and I think he's done. Are you moving to 13? Damn it. All that work. All right, what are you going to do? You're going to back up and do nothing. Waiting for orders. Okay. You're the last one through, so I think... No, I can't, huh? Distance from something? Oh, I guess it's distance from my... This is from route. So this is, I, I have to stay near here. Rough. Shoot between these guys. Here we go. I probably should have sensor locked him too. Didn't think about that. All right. It's direct line of sight there. You should, oh, I, I, I can't shoot. I'm, I'm already in the extraction zone, so I can't move. All right, Griffin, sensor lock him again. I've got a sensor lock. All right, and then can you shoot him back here? You should be able to. Yeah. It's the first one I had a direct line of sight on, so that's fine. And then you're done. Aye, aye. My carrier, move forward. Uh, I should probably do a sprint forward if I can get it. There, there's a spot right there. I will go back to standard. Point 0.9. There's 52 on the Griffin. Yes, please. Ah, uh, sure. Let's do a Phantom. Good work. Received. Received. Yep. Now, these should be uh, friend or foe mines. We'll see. Yep. The bombs should be a little bit further in. Where's the, there's the Griffin. That's the one I want. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to do controlled shot. Griffin. Objective secured. Okay, all my, all my, my people are out. You took them all. Damn it. I was going to use them for fire support. All right, it's fine. That, that's, that's all good. It's all good. I got a back shot over here. Seriously, who's the back shot on? No way. Really? He turned enough away from me that I have to deal with a back shot on him? That's BS, man. That's just simply BS. Ah, uh, Raptor. Raptor it is. Uh, okay, he, he bailed. because <laughs> He's like, he's going to shoot me in the back. No! <laughs> You're damn right I'm going to shoot you in the back. Sensors impaired. A wax, a waxy a wax. Can't get a side shot. Well, I can get a side shot over here. Let's do that. But nope, guess not. Here, there we go. Position confirmed. Chaff missiles flares. Yes, good yeah. Structure exposed. Good to go. Javelin. Javelin is going to jab you here, and I'm going to get the guy in the front. Yep. Did I miss? You missed three seventy-seven percent chances. Wow! Hello, XCOM. Same guy. Bit of acid on him. It's going to be your friend in the back. Two energy, one ballistic. I'm not really sure. I'm afraid of that. All right, VSPLs. And he shut himself down. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't move in any further here. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot from here. 
I'm not going to move. I'm going to keep my high, my numbers high. How good is an offensive push right now? Very good. Ain't dead. Ain't dead yet. I, I get that. Uh, here? Not the best in the world, so I'll just take a regular shot. All right. What are you going to do? He does the most damage if he doesn't move. Probably going to shoot at one of my guys in the back, right? No. He shot at the Screamer. Okay. And the Screamer are going to shoot back at you. You have the shot here. We have to go to get that shot. Where, where is he? Where did he hide? How did he get that shot? He's like in this little nook right here. Little bastard. I got a direct shot right there. What if I take that? Oh. What you have left? And then you shot, you shut down. I'm going to go center torso. I'm going to go through with the arrow at you too. That will clear out some of the mines around you, but that's fine. Light carrier. I got a couple spots here. I'm going to come right here where I got a shot. It's going to clip my own guy, but I think we'll be fine with 85s. Yeah, I didn't hit myself. That's good. So you did. So you did. Sprint forward. Center torso. Nice. That's what happens when you shut your mech down. Bad things happen when you shut your mech down. All right, I'm going to wait. You, buddy, come on out. Unless I have uh, long range. Nope. Reserve. You might be worth shooting at the moment. That's my chances. Eh. I'm going to reserve. You're going to stick your head out and you're going to get yourself hurt. So let's do that. Roger that. Come on. So he picked his nose up. That's fine. He did some damage. And he shot. Oh my god. Signature dampener destroyed. Of course it is. Of course it is. Good. Bozo. Hey, there we go. Direct shot. Center torso. Goodbye. A little bit along for uh, the run, but it, I mean, it went well. Yeah, I personally think it's a bad design that if you shoot your weapons, you, you shut down. Uh, but again, I was talking about the glass cannons earlier on. So, yeah. 1.1 million credits. So, I, this was five days before our financial report. I wanted to get a load of money in here, not only for the potential to build something, but also so that if good stuff comes out in this next month, I don't necessarily have to focus on collecting cash. I'm on a very good planet. Um, I got a lot of clan options, which means I can get clan gear. Here's the Cephalus that had the uh, clan plasma gun, clan fl flamer on it. And, ooh, it has a, a reduction in signature visibility and bonus in ECM. That's actually pretty good if you're going to build out a scout. But then again, whatever. The Nidhogg is, is not bad, but I don't have any of those. The Raptors. The Timberwolf at 75 tons. What is he? Plus 10 heat capacity. Critical resistance. Bonus visible range. Plus one piloting. And at 150 missions. Oh my god. Minus five. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit here that long to play those, but we'll see. Uh, there's an AMS clan. We looked at some of these others earlier, but this one, uh, basically the AMS gives you a reduction in tonnage uh, when you get a clan version. 
And you can see it's going to be 55% missile intercept. I think it's 50 on the other, so you get a 5-point bonus. 30 shots instead of 20. There is some heat. 60 shots instead of 30? 40? I think it's 30. Uh, so that's actually pretty good if you're going to be using this instead of some other AMS. We'll keep an eye on that one. So here we go. So if you don't move, 90 points of damage. But the more you move, the less damage it does. And the heat you do is proportional to the amount of damage. So you can see number of evasion pips to the power of minus 0.25. Heat change based on your evasion. Base heat multiplier by number of evasion pips to the power of minus 25. So the more you move, the more you, you drop heat. But the more you move, the more you drop damage. And you'll drop more damage faster than you will drop heat. That's what the 0.25 and 0.35 are all about. Um, so you start off at 90, but I think you can get down to like 15 or something if you do a full-on move. So it is a pretty wide range of variable damage, but it's the 60 heat. So this guy heated up 120 points firing that. That's 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 silly. <laughs> uh, X-Pulse isn't bad. Uh, it gives you the the bonus in accuracy and the ignoring of the uh, the evasion and you will only shoot once, but you get more damage out of the one shot. So that's a decent uh, laser. It's a it's the medium laser version of the pulse laser. And I think the pulse laser does what? 100 and, I mean, it does 35 points of damage. So it's a little bit better. Uh, and again, the heat's pretty much the same. So that's actually quite a quite good weapon right there. A couple more snub noses are nice. Tasers. A haywire EMP impair move. Four tons, though. I'm thinking Scout would be good with a taser, maybe. Reduced re movement by 40%. Reduce the accuracy by two. Heat sinks are impaired by half. Wow. Uh, has recoil. Misfire. Gauss rifles uh, are high. So it's a Gauss gun. So it's got 30. So it doesn't have the range. All right. That's actually quite nice. There's another sheath beacon. I'm at the point now where, you know, I was wanting them earlier. Now I'm like, I'm fine. Chameleon. Persistent electronic countermeasures cannot be toggled. Provides four and four. So this is, that's the same as a guardian. Provides sensor and mimetic stealth when activated, making it harder to hit and detect. Okay, it's 40% sensor strength signature reduction. So whatever the end result comes out as far as how far out can you ping somebody, the end result of an electronic warfare check is really distance related. Uh, and also gives you some minuses, but it'll give you some distance stuff as well to determine, are you close enough to actually ping? Well, that might be one of the reasons why I couldn't ping uh, the Centurion is because he probably had enough stuff on him that it reduced my sensor strength distance to the point where I can no longer ping him. Uh, so that's 40%. So that's almost half the distance. And it is half the visibility. So if you are a long, like for example, the catapult, a catapult with an LPS on it would be nigh invisible most of the time because he's firing so far away, uh, you wouldn't be able to ping him and you'd be hitting, you'd be shooting in the dark without a, without a sensor lock all the time. Not a bad thing, but look at the heat. So when you activate the heat, you'll get 15 points per turn, plus everything is going to generate 20% more. So you really have to look out for your heat sinking. This is something I'm, I'm going to go ahead and stick it right there for the potentials. I got enough of those. Oh, I could use that. I've got uh, one guy who has double heat sinks, who I had to put an extra heat sink in because he had a minus one engine. This will compensate for that. I like that. Let's go ahead and stick that in there for the moment. You know, very good double heat exchangers, except for the fact that I've got so many already. I think everybody's got one. Glazed armor. This is the uh, reduction of missile, let's see. Yeah, missile attacks, or not missile, energy weapons. So, 30% resistant to energy weapons, but additional damage from ballistic and missile. So, not bad for long-range stuff. Uh, I think the exchange, not knowing which game to go up against, I don't think the exchange is worth it.
Well, I should I shouldn't say that. I think the exchange could easily be worth it. Really, I mean, it is a thirty percent reduction from one type for a fifteen percent increase in two other types. It's basically a a, 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 cha- a trade. So if you throw anti missile systems on that mission on that mech that has the glazed, then you're countering the additional damage for missiles. So in that case, then it definitely becomes a bonus. Jump booster pack three. Interesting. So I could use that instead of a uh, some jump jets. To get some jump jet wait wait back. That could be helpful. Uh powered sensors, range, cooling, stealth armor. Provides sensor stealth when activated, making units harder to hit. So uh it is basically the chameleon system toned down a little bit. EMS, taser ammo. So if I went for that one, I'd have to do Magnapulse. What? Oh, okay, ECM. Okay. I I see some interesting things in there. Uh, the stealth armor, I already got the chameleon, so I don't need the stealth, but I still need some other ver- some other equipment, I think. The null signature, yeah. This modern day equivalent of Star League era null signature system reserves one slot for every location. Is that one slot every location? doesn't say so the heat there is quite significant this is a whole lot less three and five really but the the, it's 40 percent stealth signature reduction it has three and two wait a three sensor it's a sensor over here three and three and two but this one also gives you the ecm jamming as well that the guardian uh, ecm gives you i really feel like this is like the the greatest version of it slots yeah up there see one plus 12 so that means it's going to take uh two additional slots per location i think where this is going to take one so yeah i mean i can see it i can see it I think I'm going to leave the rest of this up to uh, luck. Yeah, I'm going to leave the rest of this up to luck. There's some interesting things in here for picks. This was a far better, uh, a far better run that for 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 loot than I anticipated. But I'm going to use this, so I know that's going to be used. And this is just kind of a nice to have. So let's go ahead and take that and see what happens. Got another sheath. That's great. Uh, a couple of heat sinks. Whatever. I don't think I need those heat sinks, right? Double heat sink kit is nice. There's some definite cash right there. How many do I have of those? I have three, so I'm going to go ahead and sell this. Watch how much this is worth. Nice. That's a third of, or a quarter of the whole run right there. All right. More activities are far, are over. I did take some damage. How much time am I going to be out? A day. Big deal. Let's do that day. Uh, let's go to the mech bay. Who has the plus one or the minus one? I think it's the javelin. Or it might be the hunchback. Let's take a look at the hunchback first. Yeah, he has a minus one. He's a little bit shy of space. So we could absolutely use it. And the centurion... He also has a minus one. Could use some room for space. How close are you? You're not even close. Your alpha strike is like super cool. You're super cool, man. All right, you. Oh, wait, do you have the minus one? Well, actually, you know what? Let me take a look here. One day for everybody. Yeah, I want everybody to go through this. Bing. Thank Job you. Done, Back in the mech bay. Hey, Commander. I don't think you have a minus one engine. I think you have a uh, an engine that has fair heat. 
engine. You have a heat sink cap. All right. Yeah. No, that's. Oh, right. 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 I don't think I. I, I won't be able to put it in the other ones, will I? So you're a three heat sink cap? Okay, so I need a three heat sinker to drop into you. That would be actually quite nice. At 65 tons, you have a plus one. There it is. The plus one heat sink cap. Now, if I pull this thing out, it's, it's a ton. But I think if I take it out, um, I, I might complain. Will it complain? No, it won't complain. What's my heat at? Yeah. I'm kind of thinking it's going to be the catapult. Yeah, actually, I know it's going to be catapult because those are all minus ones. I'll, I'll just double check this. Let's go for the uh, hunchback. I think he tends to get the hottest, potentially. Uh, internals. It's blue, right? There it is. So if I try to do this, complain? You do not complain. But I can take that out. Wait. No, no. Yeah, it does give me the additional heat sinking here. So I'm at 66 over 69. If I pull that out. I'm 60 over 69. So it effectively gives me 66. Gives me, yeah, it gives me an additional heat sink. So I could put in that one heat sink for the weight. The minus one is just counteracting. I could put a heat sink on the outside for one less ton. So do I want to add a ton? No, I don't. Back out. You already minus one. So yeah, let's go over here. I still have to pay for it when I put it in, but I think this is a, yeah, this, this is a digital, oh, wait. So let's go here, all the way down, bing, grab him, throw him in. There we go. We're over by a ton. I can pull out the double heat sink. I'm back down a ton. So what I basically did was I just saved three slots on my machine here. Very nice. Very nice. Now on the catapult, we also talked about possibly putting in the chameleon. I don't, yeah, electronic countermeasure suite already installed on mech. So this would have to come out. Requires three additional slots. <laughs> uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It's a one, two, I get two slots there. I pull out another heat sink though. My alpha strike is, my heat sink is still greater than my alpha strike. Okay. Now, if I put in the chameleon, I can do it. And I'm not overweight yet. That's great. I could actually add another heat sink. I could get a plus two in here. I think. For the weight. So what does that do? The Angel ECM was 5 and 5, so I'm going to lose one. But the overall defense when I have this thing active is going to be disgusting. Really. I mean, he won't be hit from range. I do have the heat exchanger in there. Did it actually up my... Yeah, heat sink is 75 to 60. That doesn't make sense. Hold on. No, yeah, it's still 75 to 60. Did this add heat or something? I don't think so. Top chameleon, put it back in. Okay. So 75 to 60. Let me think this through here. I'm going to add 20% heat generated. So that's going to be 12 more, so it'll be 72. So I'm three under, and it'll add 15. So I'll be 12 over. So I still need two double heat sinks worth of heat to drop all this. Or I just don't do alpha strikes when I've got the chameleon on. 
which is a possibility. The rounds that I'm doing, uh, Thunder Strikes, for example, would drop off 30 heat, which at least it counteract, so I just don't shoot my lights. I'm kind of thinking maybe this is what I do. And then I move the Angel ECM to somebody who's going to be up further, up close. So where it looks like the ECM is going to be less, because this is 4 and 4 versus 5 and 5 on the Angel ECM, keep in mind that the stealth, if I keep my distance, will pose a uh, no visibility, no sensor lock penalty, which will by far counteract one point of ECM. And in addition to that, the, uh, the, the check penalty is harder at, at, at longer, medium, long, and extreme range, where this guy's going to be operating. So I like it. I think I like this. Yeah, let's keep the chameleon on the catapult. What else can I throw on this guy, if anything? I have no room here. No room. Uh, as far as, I got a sensor tracker. Oh, that's two slots. Can't get that in there. Gives me the plus two on range. What's this one here? Plus increased sensor range, plus increased sight range. Bonus two to detection. Where this simply just gives me a plus two on accuracy for extreme and long range. Which I think is going to be where I want to be. Still. And I don't have any B, Air B stuff. Right, I don't. I already like the, the uh, I like the fire control system I have. I haven't picked up a better cockpit yet. Now I think I picked up, got the Beagle Probe for range. Minefield detection. Yeah, these guys don't give minefield detection, right? Nope. So I need the beagle to be able to see mines. Um, I definitely need the heat exchanger in there. All right. So that's done. This area is done. I have no slots left to install. So basically it's armor. What if I change out the heat system do i have another another heat system I could go clan double heat sinks which just decreases the space of what i put in place so i don't think this makes a difference it just makes everything more expensive for maintenance so no nope, that won't help me any i have a 280 engine i don't have anything bigger than that i have an xl engine in there already I could go light. Yeah, no, that isn't going to work. It does give me two spaces back, but that's not enough. Got all that done. No room for jump jets. Actually, I could put in... No, those are heavies. All right. No room for that. Can't put in case. I already have a clan endo steel. I have an ultra light on my gyro. If I did this, I could probably go even no. No, not enough free slots. What do I need for that? Four plus four. Two. Okay. already have upper recoil I could pull out a patchwork to get some space back got weapons everywhere already except for the head which I can't do all right we'll come back to that we can do the jump jets battle computer I don't have a battle computer in here already so 
I'd have to swap out the Artemis. So I'd want something that gives me Artemis, which would be a missile battle computer with the advanced targeting computer. I don't have one of those. All right. I think most of these I can't put in. Right? Right. Uh, I could stick a Beagle Probe in there. No. Only have half a ton. I can't do a Beagle Probe. Could get an Active Probe if it took a little bit of armor off. So if I took the Beagle Probe off, threw an Active Probe clan in there, which puts me over by half a ton... Twenty-five and twenty. Eight and six on my range. Sensor and, and sight, right? Sensor sight. So by far better. Passive sensor probe counters ECM by one. Counters them by one. Uh, detects minefields. Detects minefields. But this one gives me night vision and a plus one detection for the reduction in the range of sight and sensor anything else give me night vision no damn it what about this no. Situational, true. And the additional information. Plus one to center detection. Uh, that's what? Plus one is... Could be... Yeah, it's maybe a hex at most. I like the increase in sensor range and sight. That's... What, almost a 10%, let's, for easy math, we'll call it a 10% boost. And if I'm already shooting at an extreme range or long range, 180, optimals for 20, 360, 720, so I'm like another two hexes out on both of those. You know, I think I'm not going to do that. Let's go ahead and pull this thing back in. We'll put this back in there. Because I, I was also thinking then I could put in one of these other items, like maybe the uh, Thermal Vision 3. Ranged accuracy bonus of 1 for every 30 heat. Unique upgrades to the mech. Yeah, yeah. I could do this for additional visibility signature. Sensor locks. Again, none of those going to give me uh, the ability to see something at night. Just checking to see if the lower version of this gives you night vision. It doesn't. But still, whoa, up to plus five for heat at range. I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, let's do this. Pull out the Beagle Probe, put in Mark III's Thermal Sensor, and then we're going to add the, uh, the Electronic Warfare of an Active Probe, which means I have to take out 0.4 weight. Gives me some uh, patchworks to deal with later, but that's fine. Uh, we will take it... That's almost a quarter off. I'll take a little bit off the, the... No, no, let's not take it off here. Let's take it off center torso. And then the last piece. Again, not there. How about here? One. One. And... The infamous point nine nine. Nope, made it. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I... I think that's going to make a huge difference in the ability to hit this guy. 
Oh, in addition, oh, the, um, the the I think one ECM that comes off the armor counters the loss of one of those things I put in there gave a plus one on the difficulties to hit for ECM checks, which will counteract the loss of the uh, angel ECM. I hate to consider putting the Angel ECM on something as light as the Javelin. Do you have your ECM up? You have no ECM, right? I think I looked at this before. All right, I think I'm done with this. Uh, come back and join me on the next episode. This one's already really long, and most of this has just been chatting about build. So thanks again for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye. Creeping through the shadows in the corners of your mind. I go with the windows, I run but I don't hide. I hear the call of the wild, whispering the name. No, I can't be tamed. My heart belongs to the night. I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm alone. Girl. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a.